in my case, it took a while for me to get back to a point where I believed in Jah or God at all. And as I've said before, we cannot start with the Bible. You can't use the Bible to prove the Bible unless in a corroborative way where you're going to cite one account and use another to show they're talking about the same thing or they're pointing to a place that you can go verify. What I'm saying is you can't use the Bible because it talks about God to then say God exists. I mean, the Bible is a credible book and it would, it would mean a lot. It does mean a lot that it talks about God. All historical accounts that are credible that talk about these higher beings should be taken very seriously and because our ancient civilizations and current uh, indicate that, that something has been happening and beings have been involved with us. So um, when, when all of these texts on their own can be taken, but they don't prove it, right? They're, they don't have video and even videos can be faked like we do today. So what would prove it? Well, things that we could see happening every day science, real science, things that we can prove and demonstrate are reliable over time by experiment or observation. And so to me, it, it started with life. I'd say around 2005, 2006, I started to reflect heavily on this idea. What, you know, what, what is going on? And I realized life is going on. Life is here. It's definitely happening. It's not a dream like Descartes uh, once suggested, or we're not being controlled by a demon in the ways that we would need to take seriously because um, it's not going to change how we act. So only by observing the things that actually happen, the consequences that really we would take seriously, that would actually change our actions, that's what we should react to. Not these potentialities that we can put in our mind that don't actually connect with things we can observe. If it's like an evolution or time travel or a, a wicked demon controlling us or are we asleep sleep is easy because i can differentiate my waking state from my dream state easily often that's why i know there's a dream state and a wake state but we'll talk about that another time but this whole idea of a demon controlling you like in the matrix the movie the matrix being controlled in that case by you know the matrix but in descartes view the like a demon controlling us and making us think things are real in a world where we exist in but it isn't really happening well we don't have any evidence of that so taking it seriously would make no sense when we have evidence for everything that's actually happening. You see what I'm saying? It can be a trap. The idea can be a trap. It's, evolution is an idea. And look at how many people it's trapped. It never happens. Not one thing is evolving in the way that they would say and do say happened for life to have occurred and for it to develop into all these perfectly symmetrical creatures. So that's an, another subject we'll get into further. And I've done a video on when scientists reach false conclusions, the miller urey experiment. Either way. So once you get into that, okay, you set aside these idea traps. We'll call them idea traps. They might sound convincing. They may even be possible, right? This is why I say you don't have to know everything 100% to do it. You don't know if you're going to live through this day. You may go out into a car. I'm not saying this well. I hope it doesn't. I pray. But people die every day. So we don't know. You do not know whether you're going to do anything. It could, it could, in many things could change it from happening. But you believe it so much and you have good enough reasons to believe nothing will interfere that you do it. Even though you could die like in a car accident, you still go do it. People die every day. Why, why, why not you? Because you believe enough in the odds and the likelihood people is going to follow the rules and you will too, that you won't die, even though you might. So you see, you do not know, and you'll even risk your life over something you don't know. We do it every single day, and we're going to do it every single day until the day we lose our life. So this idea we have to know something before we believe it is not true. And even the most hard agnostic you can show, they're lying to you. And I just did it and showed you how they don't know anything really, but they do it anyway. And so they use it as an excuse not to really believe and to take the consequences of not accepting Jah seriously. That's it. So they get into these idea traps like evolution and other things. And, you know, they may in some way seem convincing or possible, but again, that's not happening. What's happening? Life is happening. And it's reproducing in the same way according to its type, just like Genesis said several thousand years ago. And it's reproducing in ways that show intelligence, the existence of life. And scientifically, life can only come from life. That's not me. That's, that's a fact. 
And it's the most repeated fact, I would say, that we can document. Even in Miller-Urey, Miller you need to have them alive before they could even construct anything, let alone create the conditions in which to generate uh, amino acids. So it's, it's, <laughs> they've caught, they're caught in an idea trap. And so when I got out of that or didn't fall into it necessarily in those ways, and I still believe from the watchtower, but I fell out of just what should I do type thing. But once I connected with life and I realized that was happening, what it indicated that you could not have life now unless life was always happening because otherwise life would have had at some point come from non-life. And that was it. That's when I realized, okay, now I have a reason to believe God is eternal. That's scientific. I don't care what anyone says. I saw a tweet from this guy the other day. You can't scientifically prove God. There was a, a comment in my, in my, uh, on a day text the other day. Oh, you can't prove God exists. You're wrong. If you don't want to believe it, you move along. I just did it. So unless you're going to prove to me how the existence of life, which can only come from existing life, which therefore shows life is eternal, i.e. God, once we demonstrate also that he's intelligent, which I don't think anyone would dispute who actually believes in God. And I could show it if they did, because it's obvious. In everything we do, we are, and that has been.